So I, I think maybe to, to put things in context a bit, I, I think that today, um, I think science um, in general is under attack on, on several fronts. And I, I don't say that lightly, the word under attack. Um, I think to begin with, we have seen over many years now, mainly or justified by the economic situation, that funding for science has been going down, both in terms of uh, you know, the actual amount of money in, in terms of grants, uh, the, the rate of successive grants, and this is a global phenomenon, um, or in terms of the number of positions that are created um, within institutes, but, but also in, by the public uh, institutions who have been suffering from a lack of funding. The idea that there is such a thing as a fact and that these facts need to be you know, verified and tested and thought about and debated critically in an informed fashion, that there are people who are actually experts on things, who know things better than other people, um, you know, seems to be in the media today and, as I said, by, by many, you know, by, by politicians from various colors, but particularly the extreme right, seems to be sort of, you know, um, attacked as, as if there's no such thing as expertise, as reality, as evidence, as, as fact. And I think the march in that sense, you know, comes at a time that is very important to declare these principles and to say, we the scientists will defend um, what the rest of society, and particularly the politicians, seem to be unwilling or un incapable um, of defending. And so that's, I think, how, how, how I see it. You know, and, and in that sense, just using communication by institutions to, you know, in terms of press releases or this or that, the other thing, I mean, that's nice, that's very important under normal conditions. As I said at the beginning, I think we are not living in normal conditions and we are at risk of these conditions becoming worse and worse. And in that sense, I think it is not only our right as individual scientists, but also our obligation, our duty, notre devoir, to go out there and say, I, as a scientist, have a voice, I'm a member of this society, and I am a practitioner of something that is important for everyone. And I am here to explain that and to defend it.